So, uh, Nadza Vivian at Bambika na topic. Do you want to Mike, I need to see you in a suit. I need to see you yes, in a suit. Yes, I seriously need to see Mike in a suit. Actually, think, you will mm -hmm. in this segment. Oh. You will. Because this guy, Why are you lying there was a time. Us? For real, I'm not lying. I'm not even lying. <laughs> there was a time he designed a suit for me. Okay, okay, okay. So how about we take a look <laughs> at this particular interview where we are supposed to be seeing Mike in a suit. Supposed to. La Muchacho coming up next. Uh, my name is Tevin, Tevin Ucheng. I'm a stylist, an image consultant, a model, a student, a hustler, I'm a lot of things. Yes, but basically I deal with image. Yeah. My name is Santana because I'm a recording hip hop artist. I'm a designer and a stylist. For me personally, it's something I always had passion about when I was younger. But then when we linked up with my friends over here, actually we've met, we've been together for a while, we've been working. We started off as models for our fashion house, La Muchacho Fashion House. So after going for a couple of shoots and showcasing our work, guys were interested and we thought we could make money from all this. So we started styling and all, just built up to this. I don't think there are types exactly, unless, unless we're talking about designers who design other things that are not clothes, you know. But as far as clothes are concerned, we don't have uh, partitions to designers. We don't have this type of designer, that type of designer. We, we, make, we make clothes for everyone, even kids. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, La Muchacho began in 2014, January. That's when we registered it as a company. Uh, so we've been in the business for, I think, four years now. Yeah. It has been quite challenging because uh, this business involves interaction with people. And, you know, there are different types of people. There are people with demands, there are people who don't listen and all that. But I've learned to be humble because at the end of the day, it's all business and the customer is always right. So we listen to people and we listen to their concerns and we meet them at the point of their need. For me, what I usually do, um, I'm more like, I look at what's trending and then I try to bring it towards my personality and my style, because I have my personal style, something that fits me. So when I'm becoming creative, I look at that, then I brainstorm in accordance to the times, like the weather, like what's happening, you know, their themes, because we usually um, give out our, 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 our projects in terms of things, because we've had a couple of projects that we've done. Yeah, you can check them out from our collections, our website. So yeah, we look at what's happening and we try and put it in our stuff. I think the most conspicuous one I've seen is, um, you know, you know, for a guy, if if you're going to dress, then you really need to pay attention to detail. By details, here we mean the shoes, the belt, and everything. For lady, for me, style is supposed to be personal. So I think for lady is being trendy, copying what's out there. Because what works for another lady might not work for you. People need to study like their body shapes and all that. So we should not really adopt what we see out there, but learn your own style there and become yeah. your own person. I think, I think the Kenyan design industry is vibrant, to say the least, because, um, okay, first of all, we, we have to understand where we are coming from. We are, are people who are colonized, so everything we do right now has to go along the line of the Western countries. But you, you find some African, some Kenyan fabrics doing really well, like the Maasai stuff, it's international. So if we take it from that, 
and do other things along that line, I think we'll make it. We see Kenyan trends and designers being showcased in international platforms. We've seen a lot of people, I'll not mention names, but um, people are really embracing the Kenyan designers. So I think we're on the right path and we should push more for our content to be out there. Because I feel like there are many creative people, but they're down here in the country. So, yeah. As La Muchacho, uh, our tagline is quality, style, and comfort. So basically, that's that's what we are revolving around. In in as much as we want it to be elegant, we want it to be African and everything, but it has to be quality. You have to be stylish, and the most important bit, you have to be comfortable in whatever you wear. Yeah. Usually, we have different ranges in accordance to fabric, the size and all that. So we can't really specify, but it's something affordable for each and every one. Yeah. So we'd really like if people came to us, because it's more of a personal basis, one-on-one. -on -one. We sit down, we get to know what you want, what you can afford, what you do and all that. That's how we come to the price. Yeah. Uh, for, uh, for image consultancy, um, Locally, it's, it's not a field that uh, is explored as much as it should be, I think. But charges, it will depend. I mean, do you want to change your wardrobe? Do you want me to take you through your dressing for a month, for a year, for a week? It depends. It depends on a lot of things. So I can't exactly quantify the amount now. You can't really quote price. Yeah. We initially had ch fabric challenges, you know, acquiring fabrics, sometimes delays with the tailors and what have you, but those have since been mitigated and we're on the right track. Yeah. My biggest challenge is with the clients, because uh, you pitch prizes, you advise them about fabric and all that, but some come with a mentality that is already like they already know what they want, it's like they know, you can't tell me, like, you know. And we'd really love if they'd embrace the culture of learning from us as designers, because yeah. we have a different eye when you look at what's happening out there. So I think that's the biggest challenge of course. Yeah, I think what he's saying is we've had, we, initially, we had clients who didn't exactly believe in our work, in our brand, yeah. you know and uh, they didn't exactly think we'd give them quality products. Yeah. But I think time, time has been of essence, yeah. and right now the clients we've had, Not we, we have yeah. formidable relationships. Yeah. For the young guys, I'd love to say, it's time to follow your dream, move towards the direction of your dream, and really do what you're passionate about. Don't stick to something that is really sucking life out of you. And we're in a world where you can push yourself and put your content out there. So I'd really advise them to follow that. And in terms of style, I'd encourage them to even uh, seek people like us, especially us for La Muchacho. We are very good at image and uh, styling. You can find us on social media and hit us up. We can help you with that. Um, you can find us on social media, on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at lamuchacho underscore FHS. You can also look up our website, that's www.lamuchachofhs.co.ke. You can as well find us personally on social media. My Instagram and Twitter is I am underscore Tev. Uh, maybe he'll tell you his. Yeah, myself, <laughs> it's Santana the Artist everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, yeah.